All right, well, let's go now for our final call to North Carolina, and we'll talk with Jim. Hi, Jim. What have you got for us? we got about a minute or so. Okay, Brother Andrew. How you doing? Um, my, our uh, pastor is asking us to fast. Uh, do we still fast under the New Testament, or do we, you know, yeah. we still fast? Okay, all right. Uh, interesting question. I mean, as you survey the New Testament letters, you're hard-pressed to find one passage mandating a fast for New Testament Christians, especially Gentiles, like the Romans, the Galatians, the Ephesians, the Philippians. You get the idea. In fact, if you were to go to a popular site like Bible Gateway and type in the word fast and search in the New Testament, the most popular uh, uh, result for that search would be this, hold fast hold fast to the head, hold fast to Jesus Christ. So why is it that people fasted? Well, 2,000 years ago in the early church, in the days of the Jews and the early church there, well, you know, food was one of the primary forms of entertainment. They would gather together for food and dinners together and social time and feasts and festivals. And if you were fasting, that was a way to not be distracted. So that was what fasting was about. So if you need to avoid something to not be distracted today, so be it. But we're not under some law about it. We're not under a law of fasting. Instead, the believer's focus today should be holding fast. Hold fast to the truth of the gospel. Hold fast to Jesus Christ himself.